Hey Tenant guys, welcome back to the channel. Today's episode, actually I'm answering a comment which, uh, which somebody sent to me long time back. I kind of postponed the response, but now I decided, okay, let's, let's respond. Let's not postpone this any further. And it's about completion. So before we go into it, I welcome you all with my love and respects and the blessings of my Guru, His Divine Holiness, Bhagwan Sri Nityananda Paramashivam. Um, so that person was telling me, uh, what is your experience of completion? I would like to know. So there's one thing I really want to share because it's a big, it was a big click for me. Initially, I felt, then I realized that that was basically how the mind functions. I felt that, you know, completion can be achieved and once it is achieved, it's finished. So I was constantly, you know, uh, I, in various situations, I was in, I felt like, oh no, I'm complete, I, I, I'm complete, I, there's no need to do any completion about it. So this kind of the resistance towards, uh, towards the happening um, was happening, <laughs> if that makes sense. Yes, it does. Um, so what I realized is that completion is a decision and it is an eternal decision. Then I clicked and I realized, oh, that's what Swamiji means when he says that uh, perpetual spontaneous completion. So completion is like a, it's like a, a yearning for, I, so the cognition I have about it now is like, it's like a yearning for that space of Paramashivoham. And in every situation you engage in, you should seek more and more completion. I kind of realized that there's no limits to completion. It's not like, oh, it's finished, I'm complete, okay, now I'm good, I can relax, I can stop. That's that, what I realized is that is the mind. The mind always wants to stop. So he always wants, because he, he wants, the foundation of the mind is withdrawing from life. So it always wants to see an end, so that after that he can withdraw from life and justify uh, withdrawing from life. But there's no such thing in reality. Reality is eternal. When you are responsible for completion, responsibility is forever. All the lives that you're going to take on from now till the end is going to be that. And even after that also. So this principle of eternity is very important. Uh, that is what Swamiji was revealing in the dimension Nitetwa. So the, the dimension of eternity is very important. And this is where everything happens. That's what I realized. So completion is just a, a sincere desire to experience more and more completion with everything around you. And Swamiji was saying at some point, you know, that's how you manifest powers is because of completion. When you become so complete with the wind, you become so friendly with the wind that you can talk with the wind and the wind will tell you stories about his existence and different things. For instance, the stories of Hanuman, which was born from the, the, the Vayudeva, from the wind god and all these things. And you will start when you want to tell something to the wind, the wind will simply listen and he will manifest what you want to him to manifest. So like that, it's like deep completion with everything. It's not like, oh, I'm complete, okay, I'm done, it's finished. No, it's about, I want more and more completion. It's like exciting. It's like you become more and more friendly with everything in your environment. You become more and more intimate with everything in your environment. It's just, just that, I, for me, it's that deep, deep, deep friendliness and like constantly growing. There's no limit of how friendly you can be. And for that, you need to be in a space where you constantly want to experience more and more completion. So that's one of the major cognitive shift I had about completion. Completion never stops, it is forever. And there's always a possibility of radiating more completion. It doesn't make sense maybe for a mind because we kind of cognize beginning end and if it doesn't end, then uh, this, uh, I, the mind kind of always puts us back to this kind of that frame. But that frame is not real. That frame is what we need to discard. This is the ego basically. Um, that's what I realized. So it's about, you know, wanting more and more completion with everything. It's not about, okay, I'm done, I'm complete. Sometimes we just feel I want to complete because I want to get rid of the whole thing. But the very cognition of getting rid of everything is because of powerlessness. It is because of life negative cognition. It's not about, it's about living, living, living with more and more completion, more and more friendliness, radiating more and more powers. So yeah, that's what, that's the click I wanted to share with you today. Um, it's a very powerful one I find. For me, it has helped me a lot because uh, this idea of uh, finishing that completion process is very dangerous for your, 
for your the expression of your consciousness, for you to experience your consciousness and express that consciousness as it is. So with this, um, again, thanking you for supporting, seeing the views, uh, uh, watching the videos, liking if you do not like. At the bottom of the video, there's a thumbs up and a thumb down. And then if you press thumbs up, that helps a lot, actually much more than what it seems, even though it is a small thing. If everybody does that small thing, it becomes a big thing. And that might be the topic for another video because now I rem I'm reminding myself of another click I had about that. So yes, so subscribe, re uh, put a comment below, and um, I'll see you guys in the next video. Nityanandam. I welcome you all with my love and respect. Let you all open all your three eyes.